to Auburn, I don't know if I'm saying it right, RVs in uh, Stanton, Virginia. About to go meet up uh, with Travis and check out my uh, my new fifth wheel. Travis, my salesman. Only salesman. The only salesman. Travis, what was it? Eastep. Eastep? Yep. Travis Eastep. Come and see this guy. This guy took good care of me. So my arm goes all the way in there. They use every inch they can. And mind you, I'm the really shortest really guy in this crowd right here, but I'm 5'11". I got decent size on. I can reach all the way back there, all the way to the shoulder, man. That's good stuff. In the back here, we got the bunkhouse. All right, look at that. Kids will be happy. Yeah, everybody's got a electrical outlet there, so they got their games, phones, whatever. They can plug them in. You got a spot for TV on the back. We're going to put a 32-inch TV there. Yeah, we'll hook up right there for you. It's all about that. They excited. Got they want plenty of storage back here. Coat rack. These cushions are okay. So these cushions act as a pillow as well, mm -hmm. huh? Yeah. Maybe, you know, if you uh, if nothing else, you don't want to bring extra pillows. You got them right here. It's comfortable too. We got a propane stove and oven. A light above with an exhaust fan and a vent outside. We got a radio here. Um, it also acts as a DVD player. Um, it's Bluetooth accessible, so you can hook up your phone right to it, play whatever music you want. And this is zone control too. So you can play music in the living area, you can play music in the bedroom or outside. Um, you can have them on however you want. All three of them on at once, one or two, however you want to do it. Nice vanity, it's got LED backlighting around it. It's off nice. Nice look in here. Um, it does have a tankless water heater, so you're always going to have hot water on demand. Never have to worry about, oh, the wife took a 10 minute shower and now nobody else has water. Um, that is venting, so you don't have to worry about rain or anything like that. It's got a cap covering it, so the airflow has to go down and then out. Okay. Uh, so, rain, anything like that, you don't have to worry about running back in here, or closing the fan, or anything. Get you a little, little storage space here, shelving. We've got some lighting. We've got drawers, cabinets, big cabinets there, hanging racks. And then this side has some shelving. It's nice for like bath towels and such. This will be right here at the bathroom. You've got 
more cabinets. Got more ambient lighting up top. You hold it and get lighting. Okay. Switch from clear to blue. Again, LED lights all throughout. We have a second AC um, with a thermostat right there on the wall. It'll control that for you. Nice, nice. Bedroom TV? Yep, we're going to put another 32 inch TV right up there. Cable outlet's already right there ready. We got storage on the head? Storage under the bed. Some extra goodies. You just got your power cords in there, the exterior grill, some hoses for the outside kitchen. Backup camera. It's a monitor that's wireless. Right. It'll hook right up into your truck. You don't have to run any new wires. And this camera can be used as a security camera mm -hmm. too. Correct. Right. So, the old book of manuals, all kinds of extra goodies there for you. Extra accent pillows for the couch. Uh, here we have, hiding behind a nice little glass door there, is your control panel. Um, it'll check all your lab levels for battery, your fresh water tank black tank and two gray tanks. Uh, you got buttons for exterior lighting, turn your water pump on if you were to be dry camping right. and need water from your tank. And then your water heater. You got your slide out controls. Run them in. And so out. another thing we got here for you, a nice feature, is this remote that it comes with. That'll control a lot of the features on the camper for you. They'll control the exterior light underneath the awning. They'll control the leveling system, both your slide outs and your awning. So this is real nice because you can carry it around with you outside while you're setting up. You don't have to worry about yelling across, make sure you're not running into a tree branch or something like that. It's real simple to use. I'll show you on the awning out here. We'll just go here on the remote, select awning. It's got an in and an out button. You just hold the button and it'll control it so you can stand out here and watch and make sure it's doing what you want it to do. Nice. Instead of the outdoor speakers each side of the door. Uh, power, power jacks, automatic leveling all the way around. Okay. What we got back here? Uh, back here we got the outside kitchen. Huge area there. It's got a TV. We're actually going to put a bigger TV in here for Jake. That's going to be a 36 Because I special ordered that. Got your mini fridge, some drawers, sink, and then a propane cooktop. Then you have a hitch here back here as well. Uh, that's good for 300 pounds on that. So. Not made to tan and tow, which you're not allowed to do in Virginia anyways, but it's right. great for fitting a cargo rack, bike which, rack. Which is what exactly what I'm planning, yeah. LED lighting, with your brake lights and highway okay. lights. Here. A few things going on. This is just going to be the exhaust from your furnace. Okay. Uh, don't be standing too close. It must be out some hot air. You've got your 50 amp cord hookup so that you can run both ACs at the same time and not have to worry about anything there. We have a docking station here. And that's going to be for your water hookup. So you have your main water inlet. And then you also have a sewer tank flush that will help clean out that black tank. It's quartz pressurized water all throughout there. And rinses out so you don't have any odors lingering so behind. Just like a separate holes there to rinse it out. Mm -hmm. So what are we? What are these two inputs here? What are these two power buttons? Uh, this one's going to be to turn on the pump. So if you were winterizing from outside here, you can turn the pump on right here instead of having to run back inside and hit that button. We have the automatic leveling system. Simple as can be. Turn it on. You had the truck under it, we raise those legs, you take off, push the auto level button, it'll level itself right here, however things go. And then here you've got two propane tanks side by side, which makes it super easy for access and then refill. It's not one of those trays that are real right. heavy and dragging out just to swap your jacks. You got a lever there to flip which tank you're pulling off of. Okay. And then also they put a sticker here inside this door go over the controls for your auto leveling system and tell you how to work that. Okay. Of course, being the number one sales and auto teaching. Of course, of course. <laughs> Can't <laughs> wait. Up front here, we've got a button here to turn on 
LED there we go. That's what I was wondering. How do I turn on those sexy lights, man? Okay. Yeah, that's what I was Standard uh, uh, J goals are coming with the uh, the more ride, okay. And I had to special order the Reach Revolution because I do have a, a five and a half foot bed. Right here, all we got some storage area, extra storage there. Batteries will go right here, and then you got a spare tire down <laughs> there as well. So how many batteries does this come with? Um, One or two. We'll fit two in there. So that was our first look at the uh, Jayco Eagle HT 29.5 BHOK. And uh, I gotta say, you know, uh, what you don't see on camera is that we did a thorough, thorough, thorough um, walkthrough and inspection on this thing. And I was a little bit concerned. Um, I was a little bit concerned, you know, looking over reviews and forums and other people's experiences and videos and uh i gotta tell you for the first uh for first look this thing was immaculate i mean i didn't <laughs> we found one little trim that needed double-sided tape and i mean my buddy matt went under the trail i mean we we were not playing today i huh, matt no yeah, it was uh it was well prepared and real, well prepped so I appreciate you guys. If you guys like this video, uh, please press like. Um, please uh, subscribe, and uh, you know we'll, we'll give you a, a full-on review when we get to pick it up and, and try it out for the first time. Thanks a lot.